This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. You got a boy slag me? Yes. Question for you. You must be Gary Daniels. I am. You're a rep, right? I'm a senator. Oh, a state, oh a senator, senator. I think I must have been looking at an older record of yeah, when, I, when I you were a rep. Yeah, this is my first term in the Senate. You were on, I think, well, I don't remember what the committee was called, but it, it was the one that heard the E-Verify bill. Yes. Uh, and you voted not to IPL E-Verify. You wanted to enforce more employers to have to check on the citizenship status of their uh, employees. Wanted to find some, some way to verify that people were legal, yes. How do you justify this additional uh, regulation on businesses? You're a Republican, right? How do you, I mean, how do you, how do you justify that additional regulation and additional, additional cost that would be forced on businesses? Um, I don't know that we, I think we, we were actually were trying to, we weren't doing it for the businesses, we were concentrating on doing it for public employees. And actually with the state, in fact, we had whittled it down, I believe, to, the, to just the state. So we oh, I see. So at first, the, because at, at one point the bill was going to force all contractors who did business with the state yeah. to, uh, to go through all these hoops. That was problematic. But the vo the version that you voted not to ITL was actually a different version. The the, the final version, final one that we were focused on was just for the state. I see. Okay. I was at some of these hearings. And I asked some questions of people there, and I didn't I didn't pick up on that at all. But uh, maybe maybe what you voted on was a different different later. Later bill than the one that, that I was that's, at. Actually. That's one I recall because yeah. we, we we did consider the things about um, put, putting it on you know the the contractors and the burden that was going to put on business and uh, yeah. it was not acceptable. Oh really? So you were against having the, forcing the contractors to, to, to go through E-Verify? Yeah, and I, so I we we want, we were trying to start slow and yeah. you know start with the state. You mm -hmm. know, we'd, we'd be putting up the money and uh, see if that even worked. There was, there was a whole lot of things dealing with the federal as well. Okay. Well, I, I looked at your record a little bit before coming over. I thought it looked pretty good. I'm glad to see this part is good, too. So, okay. I mean, I'm, this obviously is coming from a pro-business uh, yep. orientation. So, well, yeah. I've, I've tried to be very much so as well. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Mr. Okay. Daniels. I Thank appreciate you. your time. RidleyReport.com. You just check YouTube in a month, and probably this will be up. Okay. I'm a little slow sometimes. You on the select board? Yes. Oh, I've got a question for you. Uh, can you name something that you have done as a, um, you know, from your position of power to keep taxes from going up in Milford? Um, well, I managed to get in a meeting with the governor, and between Tim Fine and myself, we got the court system to stay in Milford when they were going to move it to Merrimack about three or four years ago. Um, other than that, we work. So that you think that saved tax dollars by yeah. preventing movement costs? Yes. Okay, I see. Um, we uh, we work as a board, and uh, most of the decisions that have changed money has been board decisions. So that that's how it operates it operates well. Actually, more heads are better than one. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I appreciate your time. What is your name? Mike Putnam. Okay. Thanks so much, Mr. Putnam. I appreciate it. Thank you. So, so they're going into a non-public session now, which kind of caught me by surprise. I wasn't inside there. Non-public. One of those things that seems to get abused a lot by local governments, but I haven't really been around here long enough uh, or often enough to get a sense for whether that happens here. Because it's non-public, you often have no idea whether it should be non-public. You don't know what they're saying, talking about. Yeah, here's this. This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. Keen Invention Yard Info, it's a keen convention, you'll have to go.